My name is Joel Stewart. I'm the captain on the Rainbow Warrior. Well, I've been with Greenpeace since 1989. I took my first job on the second Rainbow Warrior. Uh, I came into Greenpeace after a background of working on commercial crab fishing and salmon fishing boats. And uh, then I was operating freighters, mostly in uh, Alaska, Seattle. And uh, I became a little bit disillusioned with seeing how much resource extraction there was and uh, burning of fossil fuels, especially after like Exxon Valdez hit the rocks. I happened to be 300 miles south when that happened. And uh, I wanted to work for an environmental organization that had a sailing vessel. And there aren't too many of those around. And uh, I applied for a job with Greenpeace and was lucky enough to get one. And uh, I've enjoyed it ever since then. 22 years of operating with Greenpeace vessels, we've had quite a few actions. We have a history of breaking the law when necessary, which makes it a little bit complicated for a ship's captain because we try to do everything as close to the law as we can and we promote safe shipping. So we need to do safe navigation, really make sure we follow all the rules, but occasionally we're obliged to do something which is illegal. Usually that's not anything more serious than uh, criminal trespass or occasionally enter entering a harbor, uh, without authority or something like this, but uh, we try to minimize any risk so that we don't uh, pose any danger to the environment, to our ship, or to the our ships that we're targeting, or to the crews of those vessels. And uh, that makes our job a little bit complicated, but we do a lot of training and thought and planning to uh, minimize the risk. But then once we're in an action, things tend to get a little bit chaotic. It doesn't always go according to plan, and sometimes there's an enormous risk to the crew. Uh, and so we try to make sure that our people are, are aware of this risk. And at any moment, myself or the action coordinator or one of the activists can call the action off if they feel like it's too dangerous. Some moments it can be quite stressful because there's a lot of responsibility involved with this. And, uh, if, if you're doing an action and, and you say have the wheelhouse locked and you're trying to keep uh, the 30 or 40 policemen uh, away while you're trying to broadcast the footage you've done of the action and they're beating on the wheelhouse windows and, and doors demanding to be let in, it can be a little bit stressful. It's not something I really enjoy doing, but sometimes uh, we have to go a step farther. The, the problem really that we face is that the environmental criminal, criminals, the, the ones that are polluting for profit, the ones that are, feel like they're beyond the, the law, that are, that are putting uh, pollution into the atmosphere or, or in, in our rivers or hauling illegal timber, all of these different things that they're doing are, are the crimes against humanity, like nuclear weapons testing. These, these are greater crimes. These are moral crimes. So we don't need to focus on the misdemeanors that, that Greenpeace does occasionally to prove a point. And we only do an action after usually years of, of efforts trying to stop the, or, or improve whatever campaign we're working on. And when everything else fails, as a last resort, we'll do an action and break the law if necessary to prove a point and to prevent a larger moral crime from happening.